Watch your cable. Oh. <laughs> you actually looked. I actually did. <laughs> Hi there, this is Felix. And I'm Rowan. And this is Gas TV. Today we're going to look at a couple of wireless systems. Uh, specifically, we're going to look at the brand new Boss WL50 wireless system uh, and its little baby, the WL20. And we're also going to compare it to uh, my old faithful, the Line 6 G10. So, my story, Ron, is that you know I've been, I like mm -hmm. playing with gadgets, so I've been yeah. pulling out my Line 6 G10 uh, at various gigs just for the heck of it, just so we can wander around while we're yeah, playing, yeah. Like, we have, like we do that every time we play, don't we? And you know, <laughs> I know nothing about these things, so you have to educate Okay, no, that's fine. Actually, I want your fresh impressions on this, actually. So the big thing with wireless is, you know, prior to, in my mind, prior to the Line 6 G10, mm -hmm. wireless systems were in the realm, uh, were in the realm of professionals. You know, you needed a rack system and a prop, you know, and a, and a and a proper uh, uh, transmitter hooked, put, hooked onto your, to your strap yeah. and that's one. It just, was just a little bit painful, right? With the Line 6 G10, just to show you, Line 6 came up with this little unit, um, which is, um, you know, powered, you put, connect it to USB power, it had a little thing like that, you plugged it in, plug this into your, into your rig, wherever it is, and off you go. So mm -hmm. it's just that extra bit of convenience in terms of setup. And that's where I started getting into wireless and I thought that was, you know, and yeah. I actually started using it uh, on gigs and it was fine. I've always, over, over a bit of time, I got dissatisfied with the Line 6 for one very stupid reason. And that's this USB connector. They use the micro USB uh, cable for power and it is the weakest yeah. bit of design yeah. ever. Like you can see how much this thing shifts. You can see, I can't even get it in properly. But look at how much that bends. We'll do a close up of this at some point, but. Wow. Yeah. It doesn't mm -hmm. take much to kick it out. Of course, and, yeah. And if you're playing live, yeah, you that's, just not, that's just not a risk mm -hmm. I'm happy to take. So line six, take note, love this unit, but that's just, that's just crazy. Yeah. So it's got, it got me looking. So when Boss announced that they were releasing the WL50 uh, and the little baby WL20, I got excited um, because the WL50, the bigger version of it, is this little pedal. It's actually form factor. It's basically like a guitar pedal. So it fits on your, uh, your pedal board quite easily. Same shape and everything else. It uses nine volt power and it has a power out to da help the daisy chain onto your other mm -hmm. um, uh, pedals. This makes perfect sense. Um, functionally, it's pretty much the same as the WL50 in that you have a transmitter that plugs in there to charge, uh, and then it syncs up with it, you pull it out, plug it in, and away, and away you go. Differences between the two, let's have a bit of a look at them. Line six have got a um, quarter inch out and an XLR out. The quarter inch out has got its cable emulation in it, so it, yeah. it tries to emulate the sound of a cable of some length going to it. Mm -hmm. um, and, the, and the XLR has got no cable emulation. I don't think I've ever used the XLR yeah. out because nearly 100% of the time, I'm gonna have this going into a proper DI of some sort, like my yeah. Sense and Paradrive DI, which gives a specific sound, or the Line 6 Helix, something mm -hmm. else, you know, something else in my, in my signal chain. So, um, so I don't even know what it sounds like without the cable emulation. So there's that. The bus only has the quarter inch out, so I can live with that. Uh, this particular unit has got the option to turn off its cable emulation. So you got an off setting for cable tone, a short cable emulation, and a long cable emulation. So we, I want to hear what they sound like. I've got no, all these little toys, more <laughs> buttons. That's actually a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. The one pain with this, I was just thinking about it, was that the uh, in the box, 
uh, it doesn't come with um, a power adapter, it's an optional extra. Oh. Which I don't think most guitarists will be unused to, we probably have a few. I guess if you've got it on your, your pedal board though, you're going to have your daisy chain going yeah. on. Like. But, but it just seems like a bit of a, a bit of an omission because you cannot actually charge yeah. the transmitter without, without oh. that. So if you buy one, so you, unless you, you have need, one, you need, you yeah. need, it's not like it's an optional extra uh -huh. in that you can't actually get it to work unless you actually had one. So you must, buy, you must have a charge of some sort. Uh, it does, it, this, the, unlike, the, unlike the Line 6, this actually takes AA batteries, which is actually really cool. Mm. So imagine all the times we would have wanted to go busking wireless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like we do every once a year. Um, <laughs> it is nice having the backup of batteries though. Yeah, it, it is nice. So, so the Line 6 doesn't have that. So the thing is, you know, kick that cable out, that's it, you're, you're, yeah. you're unplugged. But the, um, but no, then you can think about, you know, wedding gigs where you're out in the open sort of thing. Yeah. You don't necessarily want cables running around. Or power fails, you've still got you got You've still got, well, got power, no I think power, got... <laughs> I, didn't say. I was going to say, you're going to have bigger problems if power fails. It's just nice to have that flexibility, you know, it's, it's in a sense, it's one less wire going to your rig if you're, if you're, if you're playing in a uh, sort of a mobile yeah. uh, situation. But yeah, so a bit of a pain in that the power cable doesn't come standard with it, they would probably just raise the price anyway, so yeah. But there you go, you can get any power cable to, to supply that. So what I really want to do is just do a bit of a, a quick sound test between uh, these two because I'm actually seriously considering a buying this sure. just to replace sure. it, if it, if, the, if it sounds good enough. The, um, we'll put the retail prices up for uh, 40, 40s down, down there so you can see, you have to check your local, local uh, retailers for retail prices, local area for retail prices anyway, current retail prices. The, um, let's start off with the line system. The way I've got this set up in the rig, I've got this going straight into a Harman Soundcraft UI24R recording uh, on two separate channels, one for the Line 6 G10 and one for, for the Boss. They're both direct into channels one and two on that. Uh, we've, we've tried to um, uh, not put anything else in the signal chain just to have a feel for mm. the delay. The specs in delay on the Line 6 G10 are, it says less than 2.9 milliseconds, depending on your setup. This says 2.3 seconds, so I'm gonna call it much of a muchness. Range yeah. is probably similar as well. I think they say this is 50 feet at 65 feet line of sight. I'd be interested to do, the thing with line of sight tests is that that's usually not realistic at gigs. Yeah, you know, course, we, yeah. We, we, you and I tend to sit down next to our amps. So that's not usually a problem. We just like the flexibility, or I just like the flexibility of being able to stand up without tangling myself up yeah. if I need to go and address someone or the singer or yell at the drummer or something. Usually he's yelling at me. Um, but the, um, uh, but, 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 so, so line of sight's never usually a problem, but you know, in most gigs you get, you, you know, you're, you get things in between you and your yeah. amp sometimes. There's people walking around, there might be a table in the way. So I might, we might actually uh, try to do some other sort of range tests. You walk up the door around the corner and see what happens maybe and see what, and, and see, see how that goes. So really scientific control test. Mm. Okay, so there you go. So let's start off with the, what are we playing? You got a PRS, I think it's a Custom 24. It's got a bird. It's a very old one actually. 24? It's 24 yeah, frets, yeah? 24 frets. That's what it means, yeah. Yeah, that's what it means. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Can we count to 24? Yeah. No. <laughs> How many lots of four is that? One, two, three, four. I did struggle a little bit, yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's start with the uh, G10 first, maybe. What mm -hmm. pick, which pickup have you got us on? You got to stick to the... Uh, I'm not really neck? sure what this means, but I think it's... Let's stick to the neck pickup. Just that, that's on neck. the one. That's neck pickup, all right? So this is D. The... There we go. So for all intents and purposes, do you feel uh, it's, it's really it feels fine? Oh no, actually, it feels maybe similar to if I was playing through the Helix or if I was playing through yeah. into a computer, but it doesn't feel yeah. at all. 
Like, annoying, like you don't notice it. Yeah. So the thing with Helix is there's quite a bit of processing happening, so you'd expect quite a few, yeah. quite a bit of delay. Um, how would you describe that? I mean, you, you you were describing the delay really nicely before. You were saying like it's like playing with the amp in a different room. It, yeah, it doesn't. You don't notice it as like I'm hitting that and I can hear it. It's not like when you're playing into a computer and you've got a million yeah. programs running and you're going. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah. It's like as if you are you have an amp in the other room, like when you're in a studio or something, and they yeah. set the amp up in the room, yeah. and then you've got headphones coming through, so you can't hear the amp, yeah. but you can hear the playback. Yeah, yeah. And it feels slightly disconnected, but that doesn't feel like there's lag. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty, that feels pretty good to you? Yeah. All right, okay. So let's do a quick stop. I'm gonna leave the cable tone on, uh, in, in, on the short cable, because that's the middle setting, I assume that's okay. That sounds a little flubbier and muddier to me. Maybe a little think? bit. Yeah. It almost sounds like it's slightly pushed. Can I swap that over quickly? Yeah. Do the same similar something similar. Yeah. There's more clarity in the upper end there. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear this coming out, coming through your system. Let me just double check that I'm not doing something silly here. Can you play that again? Yeah, no. The settings are the same, clean. So, so we've got the, um, we're hearing a little bit more breakup in the, possibly coming from the cable emulation in, in this, but it's certainly muddier. Like the yeah. top end's not quite as clear. All right, so let's go through the, the settings on the, um, uh, on this. Uh, just a quick word from our sponsors while we're, while, while we're doing a switch over. Uh, th special thank you to Music Junction Camberwell for loaning us the uh, WL50 and WL20 uh, wireless units. Um, if you're after one of these units, they also stock line six, the Line 6 G10 as well as the WL50 and WL20. So whichever way you decide to go after watching this video, uh, Music Junction have got you covered, which actually uh, makes this video a little more comfortable for us to do so we don't run to conflicts of interest with other competing shops. <laughs> just saying. Oh, wow. <laughs> I got it all out of one go. <laughs> go, You go, Felix. All right, so we're gonna. So thank you, Music Junction. Do check them out. We'll put the mm -hmm. link in the description below or down here uh, for all your music needs, Australia wide. Now uh, let's put on. Oh, I was wrong. I had that on um, on the long uh, cable. So let's turn yeah. it all off. Cable emulation off. There's still a little breakup, isn't there? Like it's just like that kind of. I'm just I'm just double checking our settings on the UI24 to make sure I haven't turned anything any effects on. That that is literally it. That should just be. There's a little reverb on it, but I think all that sound difference is coming from the Boss WL50. Yeah, it is a little pushed. You can it hear is. that. You can hear that sound. This but does, um, it is quite a hot guitar. It sounds like it is. It's a, well, it's a, it's a humbucker and a, it's a bridge. It's a neck humbucker, but still. Yeah. The um, 
So one more time, let's flick through that. I, I think cable emulation off on the Boss Plus cable emulation standard on the Line 6, I think the Line 6 actually is still cleaner. Yeah. Maybe I'm just used to the G10, the Line 6 G10, but I prefer it. What do you think? The Line 6. Yeah. Well, it just sounds like a bit clearer. Yeah. For the stuff we do anyway, yeah. where clarity is important. Yeah, I think the, the, the G10 probably is the sound, sound we're after. I'm going to pull that out again. Let's go back to the boss. But having said that, your mileage will vary, especially if you're a um, blues rock guitarist. This boss doesn't have the weak-ass micro-USB cable for a start. I think that's yeah. a big plus. And the design and the, pe the fact that it's a pedal, uh, it fits on a pedal board, it's got batteries, I think is a winner. So let's try cable emulation off. Cable emulation on short. Cable emulation on long. I don't know, that's the difference. Cable emulation off. Cable emulation on short. Cable emulation on long. Hmm. All right, I don't think mm -hmm. I can tell the difference there. I Let's do that. one more test on that. Let's go treble pickup this time, just in case it's also, you know, not big yeah. because of Cable emulation off. Cable emulation on short. Cable emulation on long. It sounds the same to me. It does sound the same yeah. to me. But having said that, all across the board, mm. with the cable emulation off, it's, it's a little muddier than the uh, Line 6 unit. Yeah. All right, well, so that's the tone test. Let's try to do our highly scientific uh, range test. <laughs> Oh, yep. <laughs> um, just to show you as well, we'll after we run through the, line, the, the two um, uh, Line 6 and WL50, we'll also quickly run, run through the WL20, which is actually a much streamlined and simpler unit. It is literally just a transmitter, transmitter and receiver. Plug this into your amp, plug this into your thing, and it charges via micro USB at a, at a cable. Uh, so no, no option for power or anything else. It is just fully battery, battery operated, synced up. So what we're going to do is, you're unfortunately going to see the mess around uh, 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 the studio, our studio. Um, Rowan here is going to grab each of the uh, uh, trans uh, transmitters for the Boss Line 6 and the G10 mm -hmm. there. And these picks? And these picks. He's going to use the picks as markers. He's going to walk out the front door and he's going to walk down there and the transmitters are going to be, I'll place them on the floor here. The idea with this is not to do a line of sight test. I've got no reason to doubt that in a mm. clear line of sight, perfect conditions test that uh, these will, the, will deliver as, as advertised on spec. Right, yeah. uh, but we want to see how it does with just a little bit of blockage um, around the corner of that door, and we'll just see how we go. And I'll, I'll yell out at you when we uh, uh, when we when we sort of start crackling, maybe. So uh, mm -hmm. shall we go? Four. Yep. All right. Keep playing. Oh, I'm so used to feeling uncomfortable in the cab. <laughs> <laughs> You reach for a cable. That was it. it feels so unnatural. <laughs> this is why you need to go wireless, buddy. You got to join the 21st century. All right, keep going. So we're around the corner now. Still all right. Keep going. If we if we get to the end of my door, oh, stop, 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 stop. Come back. Come back. Come back. Stop there. Oh. I reckon around, around there. All right, we're gonna call it, we're gonna call it there, right? Watch your cable. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he actually looked. I actually did. <laughs> Slow down around there. Keep going. Whoa. Ah. No, it's strong. Oh, no. That's cutting out. It's about the same spot. Yeah, weird, isn't it? That's clean. That's fine. So there you go. I put I put the pig down there, I think. Same spot. Same spot. There we go. Doubles that prove that they're about the same, I suppose. But yeah. that's it. So around the corner, out of line of sight. Curtain blocking the way uh, there. Pretty good. That tree, maybe. That tree's blocking. So we got quite a bit in the way. Yeah. Might and, be different with and leaves. This is, this is probably going to be as bad as it as anything could be. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Like when you're doing like a festival or something, and there's yeah but but where will your amp be to the festival like suppose you could be going to the desk directly yeah so i mean uh, it is out of line of sight mm. right so so that's actually pretty decent so if you were you were saying if you were in a festival mm. what's the worst case scenario you'd have you you could be going direct to the desk without going to something on stage would you ever do that i i, I don't i'm not sure if i would i mean even if it was a di no. you go into the di yeah, but often you'll be like off off stage, and then you'll have everything set up and ready to go. Yep. And you may I don't know if I've ever played before going on. Oh, I see. Like, like, doing like, the walk on and doing the whole. Well, like, <laughs> yeah, you could do. It. <laughs> That's right. Watch the cable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that could be. Um, although, actually, no. Yeah, like I used to do a show on the cruise ship where we I'd have to run out of the pit. And up the stairs. Did you have a wireless for that? Yeah, it's okay. a wireless for that. I, that seemed to work. I don't know what. Yeah. What they use. Look, it's probably a rack unit of some sort yeah. with a with a great transmitter and receiver. So range isn't an issue. But yeah, you see, okay. even then, when you think about it, it's still in the vicinity. If we manage to get around a corner, down halfway down my lane, with no line of sight. I mean, there's curtain blocking it. There's a wall in the way, and yeah. there's trees. Uh, imagine an orchestra pit into wherever. As long as it's centrally located, it should be okay. Yeah. yeah, having said that, if you are doing something specialized like that, you if really should doing, be inv you should be investing in a proper. If you're doing something like that, then someone usually sorted it for you. Right? That, <laughs> that, that 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 that's right. So for the for most of us, for most of the weekend the weekend warriors mm -hmm. out there, either one of these units is actually going to be uh, to work really well. It's just a question: is the weather you? Well, this is a really tough one for me. I clearly prefer the sound of the G10. I'm not sure about you. I, I mm. like that. I'm, but then again, I'm used to it. I, could I clean up the boss? Because that, that muddiness is, yeah. is an issue for me with, with the jazz gigs that we do. I really like the form factor of the boss WL50. It's just better in, in, in every possible way in terms of form factor. Yeah. It's the right shape and size for a pedal board. Uh, it's got the 9 volt, uh, nine volt in. Um, uh, it's got batteries. Right? Yeah. It doesn't have that silly micro USB cable. Line 6, please fix it. Um, so the only thing left to try very quickly just for a laugh is to see how this works. I did have a bit of a go at this before. I'm not taking these very seriously. They're really yeah. flubby when the sound tests from memory. Probably about the same, if not a little worse than that. And range was definitely poorer than the Line 6 G10 uh, in my scientific test walking through the house. Uh, so I expect this to actually fail uh much earlier there you go all right okay so sound wise you can still hear it's warm it's clearly it's clearly bit, maybe a bit more distorted yeah it's probably it's it i think it has the long cable emulation i'm just pulling out this i'm putting the So what's the difference between these two? So this is the this is the WL20, the mini unit, which yeah. it doesn't have the, the the docking station. It just uh, has the little transmitter, which is the same size. You plug in the other sink, and uh, so it's just much more compact, right? Range is going to be reduced on this. The, in fact, the advertised range line is size 50, 
feet. Oh, oh, we got my meters and So that's right. good because you can actually have that at your pedal board, which means you're going to be closer to it. Is that how that works? Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, your pedal board could be far, far away from you as well. I mean, that could be anywhere. How do you step on your pedals? It, that's a good point, <laughs> yes. Uh, you, you, hi, you hire a minion. <laughs> you hire a minion. <laughs> Minions are very useful. <laughs> so we have the uh, Boss WL20. Um, you have the, the marker. And off we go. Start playing. Couple sets back. Not there. That's not bad. It's not bad, but it is it is poor. Yeah. There not you go. that much poorer though. In my in my less scientific test of running around a house, it broke up much quicker with more things in the way. Uh, like, okay. uh, like I was probably walk, had a set of stairs in between me, whole stack of cupboards and everything else. Uh. Yeah, that's pretty solid there. This is where the WL20 stopped. So maybe like three meters? Uh, uh. Yeah, three meters is pretty good. Three and a bit. I got a three meter strike. There we go. Yeah, that's why the uh, WL50 and uh, Line 6 G20, uh, Line 6 G10 stopped. There mm. we go. Fantastic. Love our scientific tests. Leave those picks. Cool. So, has this made you um, think about using wireless units anywhere at all? No. Well, I mean, it's maybe think about it. But <laughs> I think the reality is I wouldn't, if there's any, any position that I was in where I was required to use a line, uh, wireless, it would be provided by the, the, the company or the, the, whoever you would, you would, you would never voluntarily put it. I would never leave, really, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. There you go. Not enough of a gadget freak. I am. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Uh, thank you again to Music Junction for loaning us the Boss, Boss WL50 and the WL20. Uh, this has been a very interesting test uh, for us. Uh, jury still out as to whether I'm going to change over from the Line 6 G10 to the Boss. Depends on how much I hate that little cable. That cable is going to break at some point. Mm -hmm. Oh, that connect is going to break at some point. But thank you very much to the Music Junction again for all of that. Do check Music Junction out uh, on their website. Um, you can get both the Line 6 G10 from them as well as the Boss uh, WL 20s and 50s, uh, as well as everything else you need uh, in terms of your, your um, guitars and gear. Um, uh, that's been our quick look at the two wireless units. Um, do be sure to subscribe to Gas TV for more videos and reviews. Uh, like this mm -hmm. um, and follow us on yeah check out our Facebook page yep we got a good. Facebook page we got a Facebook Instagram. group yeah Facebook group yeah yeah, yeah. Yep. our support group a little community of uh, gas sufferers like us some uh, good memes in there as well yeah <laughs> that actually, the, the group's actually growing slowly it's actually quite mm. a lot of fun yeah yeah they're funny we got a funny group of uh, jokesters in there everyone with gas it's, it's good <laughs> oh we have a girl or two in there too <laughs> girls on a guitar forum <laughs> Awesome. Sorry. Rare. Rare. <laughs> Just like girls at a comic book store. It's like everyone <laughs> stares. No, they're, 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 they're love, lovely, lovely girls uh, to have on, on our forum. So we need more girls, actually, just to balance out the memes. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, so Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Facebook group, all check, check us all out, we'd love to see you. Feel free to comment in the comment section below or catch us on, face, on Facebook or any of our other social media. Ro and I are always start for affection, so we'd love to hear from you. We'll, we'll respond pretty much immediately as well. We'd like to make friends. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it from us for now. So uh, until next time, see ya, bye. Do you have more guitars than most people have pairs of jeans? Do you live in the fear that your other half will discover your graveyard of empty guitar cases only to find that some of them aren't really empty? If so, click here to subscribe to Gas TV. We're here to help with your addiction.